Hello, Louisville Supercon. Hello, Leslie. How you doing? Carl Kohlenschmidt, Team BSG Viper. One to one scale. Colonial Viper from the original Saga of the Star World. Leslie wanted me to give you guys insight on the Viper, what it took to build it, uh, dimensions of it, and just give you uh, an idea of how, the, how big this thing really is. Um, give you some information we started a couple of years ago um, with just the idea of building the cockpit section if you don't know the original Viper um, was built for Saga of the Star World and it was full scale uh, built from the models from the show it had uh, a tub instead of a cockpit so when the actors climbed inside they uh, just sat in a tub and there was a light that would shine on their face. If you watch some of the initial first scenes, I think Richard Hatch is sitting in it and he's got the joystick actually uh, above the lip of the uh, cockpit. So they were just ad-libbing what they could do. So what you see is uh, movie magic. You see the, the full-scale Colonial Viper but when they did close-up shots of the cockpit, there was another mock-up. It was a cockpit version, and then there's also the shots of inside the uh, cockpit, which shows the instruments. That was an external cockpit because they couldn't get the cameras inside. So they had to splice three or four things to get um, it actually looked like Starbuck was flying in the uh, Viper. Um, you'll get full scales from some of the episodes where you see the, the Viper on the ground, in the original Galactica in the 1980 there was actually three versions there was the cockpit version which they usually placed in front they placed the full scale which was in the middle and then there was a big giant cardboard cutout which the actor would sit behind so it actually looked like there was free, three full scale vipers that were either in the hangar bay or on the ground um, that you know they could actually make it look like that uh, what we did is we built the cockpit section first for Comic Clues of 2017 just to see if it could be done. Um, myself, George Mellis, Dragon Lady from Battlestar Raven, and Georgia, and Paul Oakley, all members of the Battlestar Raven. It w we had some blueprints for the uh, Viper. Um, that some people have tried to build the Viper we went with a modular version of it um, just for per just just so that for the purpose of loading it uh, you figure the Viper I mean, here's the dimensions for it it's 28 feet long 15 feet high 15 feet wide when you tip the wingtip weighs approximately about 2,000 to 2,500 pounds and it does have full landing gear on it the front landing gear piece weighs about 150 pounds and each one of the rear landing gears has, is about 250 pounds. Uh, we had to make it that way from a company local because we had to make sure that it would support the weight. Uh, we are still doing some work on the frame that we need to make sure that uh, we have good support underneath it so people can climb in the Viper for safety. So that was many of the factors that we needed to accomplish was um, make sure that it was cost efficient, lightweight, modular, and of course safe. So we had the cockpit built with full gauges. Uh, it has about a two minute uh, demo video. Canopy has an actuator in it that actually uh, opens and closes. Uh, so we tested it out at Comic Clues 2017 here in Houston and it was a great success. We had people from NASA getting in there, little kids. Uh, Mary McDonald even got in it. Uh, you know, it was, she was real gracious to do that. Um, so after Comic Clues of 2017, got with the other members again and was like, okay, we have this, it's very successful, why not, let's do the rest of it. So a year later, we debuted the one-to-one -one scale full full detailed cockpit Colonial Viper that has never been done before so we have something that's very unique 
Um, there are other versions of uh, the Viper. Uh, Battlestar Galactica 1980 actually had a two-seater version of the uh, Colonial Viper. And what they did is they modified the original one, they stretched it out, and put two seats in there. So the, the canopy looks like it comes out a little farther. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm going to take you to where the Viper is in my garage. It's a two-car garage. We don't have the storage facility for it yet, and we're still working on a trailer. We want to get like a 20-foot trailer to haul behind my truck so that we can store it in there, uh, take it to cons nice and easy. Um, uh, because we had a 26-foot box truck, and it was kind of nervous, you know, with the canopy up there, uh, the, the cockpit section on the, the back of the loading dock. Uh, so let me turn the camera around here and I'll start walking you through the pieces. Uh, there's about 35 pieces that go to the Viper. Okay, so let me get up here and we'll turn the camera around and I'll show you uh, parts of the Viper. Okay, so we have a section here that's the uh, forward landing gear. You see it's very durable. Um, like I said, it's about 150 pounds. Uh, it has uh, those are camera dolly wheels on there. We had a special order of those. So there's actually six wheels on the front. Um, this is one of the engines right here. Engine number one, two, and engine number three. Uh, each piece of the Viper is about six feet in length. So that was part of the modular design we had to do. Um, as you can see, they're hollow inside, but they do have a frame structure to give it support. So like I said, we were looking at... Um, safety um, but lightweight and cost also um, we use a uh, um, uh, it's I would say 90 percent made out of wood um, you can get at your local hardware store two by fours two by eights one by ones you name it, we pretty much use them all um, here's the cockpit section here and it is it is six foot in length also and it's about four feet wide and what we do is we have bolt holes through here uh, that you can bolt them together these two pieces here that's the forward part of the wings that hold the lasers it doesn't look like it but yep, that's where they go and then you can see we got some of the instruments you can get into there the access and there's the canopy and then we have the vertical wing vertical fin here that's about uh, as you can see that's about seven feet long and this is the section that goes in front of um, the cockpit I designate that section 6 through 12 the cockpit section is 12 through 18 uh, here we got some other sections back here there's the um, the intake you have three intakes and they are actually made out of foam uh, we thought of many different ways of, uh, you know, maybe fiberglass around wood, um, but those are three foot by three foot blocks of solid uh, styrofoam with a uh, hard resin on the outside to protect them so that, you know, they do, you know, can take a little bit of a beating, um, but we want to make them as lightweight as possible. Uh, back there between the uh, intakes, that's the very nose section with blankets on top. Um, you know, like I said, unfortunately this is uh, also my garage but it's the storage for the Viper so we have to have those blankets when we're transporting it uh, these black sections right here those are the engine uh, exhaust so we have one two and then there's a third one right there and sitting on that is a section that goes behind the cockpit so as you can see we've got quite a bit these are what I call the, the gun gun bay uh, maintenance area things they slide right into the side uh, so we tried to make sure it was close to detail as possible to the original. As you can see, it framework in here. Uh, we have, go over here, we look at the blueprints. And there's the original model. We use that for reference. We use many different things. Uh, blueprints. Uh, there's the actual uh, Viper from uh, Saga of the Star World. And it is on the landing gear. And then this is kind of what we used to was the blueprints. So we have 0 through 6, that's the first section, 6 through 12, that's the second section, 
12 through 18 that's the cockpit section and then we have the uh, engine area right here the three and then we use these blueprints here for the landing gear and we found a company in Houston that would manufacture them they they make uh, gang walks for uh, gang planks for ships so we use some uh, heavy-duty steel to support the weight and we'll go back around the corner here and this is where the wings are and the wings the side wings are about 10 feet long and this is where the uh, front part the other part I showed you this is where they mount to and this is the rib section that goes between the engines so you can actually climb up in there and do some maintenance and this big section here is the belly uh, behind the cockpit to the back of the engines so got quite a bit of uh, wood here um, just a quick tour of the Viper um, gonna flip it back toward me real quick and we're gonna do a sign off here so we don't go too much farther um, <clears throat> so give you give you a quick tour of the Viper see what it took to take the put it together what it takes to transport like I said we're working on getting a trailer for it to store it so we can get it out the other cons because our goal is to get the, uh, the Viper out to you guys um, we want you know we want it for you guys to get in there at Comic Blues we actually uh, had about 1500 to 2000 people get in it uh, for about two minutes at a time little kids adults uh, anybody that wanted to get in it we didn't charge them a fee for that um, so we hope to get it out to you guys in the near future uh, look at team BSG Viper for updates we do make videos uh, if we do improvements to it and we'll give you some information on possible future cons we're looking at possibly Dallas maybe in March and uh, Comic Palooza in Houston in May. So, like I said, check out uh, Battlestar Raven, uh, Team BSG Viper, and I'm going to sign off from you. Uh, hope that gave you some information and insight. If you got any questions, uh, check out our post we on our Team BSG Viper page. We've got it from day one of building it to the premiere at Comic Palooza, and we're still doing stuff with it. So, I'm uh, Carl Kuhlenschmidt, Master Builder Team BSG Viper, signing off. You guys have a great con. Leslie, I'm going to give it back to you now. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye.